Building a job site near Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, Netherlands. The project is led by the government and it's called the Master Plan. It's one of seven projects that are planned, about 75 million euro for this project. The contractor is MNO Vervat, and I'd like to thank them for having me out on the site. I talked with Peter Shear, the supervisor on, on this project, and asked him about their company's adoption for machine control. And back in 2005, they purchased a 2D system, elevation only, and now own seven 3D excavators, so certainly believe in the technology. What's unique about this job site is that the RTK correction is provided by a local subscription network service, in this case, SpiderNet. Ronald Duran of Balazer is the dealer that provided the sales and service for these systems for MNO Veravat. Ron explains what he sees as advantages as to using the network service. First of all, the money you save from not having to buy a base station, and also the restriction of the radios and in some places you're not allowed to use certain radio types. Since the network provides the correction via GSM you're able to go much longer ranges but also you're able to move a machine from place to place without having to set a base station up or do a localization. Much quicker, much simpler. Now other than the network correction this excavator system is very much like others. You have a GNSS receiver, in this case the Leica Power Box. You have two antennas on the machine that provide heading, so you're getting GPS, high accuracy, GNSS positioning, and also heading. And then there are a series of axial sensors placed on the body, boom, stick, and bucket, so that you're monitoring the full articulation and heading of the machine. This gives you a couple of centimeters or better at the tooth of the bucket. Now all of this information is being fed to the control box inside the cab. So the operator has very, uh, very good idea of where the bucket tooth is compared to the design surface. And even with some systems, even monitor the amount of earth or volume that the machine is moving. Now this aids inexperienced operators to be very good operators and great operators to be even better. And since all of this data is being fed to the control box, this enables operators to make complex cuts even in blind situations where they cannot see the bucket. In addition, grade checker is not needed. No one is on the ground in harm's way. And this also reduces the amount of surveying costs to have a surveyor put stakes in the ground, guide the machine, because the machine knows where it's at on the job site, where it's at in existing terrain, cutting to the design.